Adidas continues his hot streak with a crazy eight. Low, I didn't think they can get any better. We have a name for the new Jalen Brown shoes and people want me to talk about it. Taking a look back at Derrick Rose Adidas shoe career. Let's talk about it. At least once a week we talk kicks. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's it's been a bit a bit much. I'm not going to hold you. So let's just kick it back. Rock with me. Uh, let's get straight to it. I've talked about it on this page many of times. Uh, I'm a huge Kobe fan. I've always been a huge Kobe fan since I was a child. The Crazy 8 is, to me, probably a top 10 Adidas model. That might be a hot take. I probably got to get more in-depth about that. But, yeah, Adidas keeps on cooking. I, this is what I like about Adidas this year. They've been killing it with new models, dominating, and then retwisting old models and making them better. What they did with the ugly Kobe, Kobe, everybody know about the, the fat space shoe. They look ugly. The, the crazy Kobe they, them is them is ugly. Then they came out with the crazy infinity, put a zipper on it, put more layers on it, and it just looks like a better shoe. I love the crazy infinity. I have a pair. I think I did a video on them already. You can check it on my page. But the crazy infinity is a better version of what the fuck we got in the past. And then we get this crazy eight low. I love the crazy eight. Like I said, I think it's a top 10 Adidas model. That might be a hot take. But making it to a low. I didn't think it'll be better, but golly, these are fucking beautiful. This is this is these look better. I'm, I'm going to honestly say that. Like this is a what? And then they did the fucking college, the college what HBCU shoes. Like these is fire. Like the colorways is fire. Like this is a dope shoe. Adidas been killing it. Adding new models, remixing new models. It's just been a stellar year for Adidas, man. I know I keep saying it, bro. They blowing Nike out the water. I, and I read y'all comments, and I see it all the time. Uh, some of y'all so, like, biased to Nike. Remember, Nike ain't giving y'all ass a dollar. They not giving me a fucking dollar. I'm going to talk about all brands. Adidas got them this year. If you ask me, it damn have been a sweep. If it, if it ain't a sweep, they beat them in five. Nike ain't showed me nothing this year that was like, oh, that's new and innovative. Y'all doing that. Y'all brought some old models back and retwist. They ain't doing what Adidas doing. Adidas, I ain't gonna say they fully bounced back off the Kanye thing, but damn, they 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 putting it back together though. And if you Nike, if you biased to Nike, you gotta at least say like, nah, Adidas been killing it, bro. Like AE1, Harden, what? What we on the Harden eight nine? Back to back. The Dame Nan is beautiful, bro. Uh, John, Donovan, Donovan Mitchell shoe. Crazy Infinity. Low top crazy eights. Like, I can keep going, bro. Like, shout out to Adidas, man. They've been killing it. And I hope they can keep this pressure up. Speaking of Adidas, I know you guys are tired of me. And I say it every time. I be seeing your comments. Get it out your mouth. It's okay. Just say you're a hater. It's the shoe of the year, man. Here's a better look of the AE1 and this pink colorway in a, in a nice casual fit how I will wear it. He's wearing it how I wear it, basically. I don't have a pink windbreaker. I have a nice windbreaker collection. I know everybody keep begging me to say that, but this is fire. A nice casual athletic fit when you chilling. This is it. This is how you wear the AE. He just gave you the blueprint, bro. These is fire. These will be getting added to the collection of the many AEs I have this year. Uh, shout out to Adidas for these. I know y'all gonna be in the comments. Stop the glazing. Uh, um, but yeah, back to the news. Uh, what's his name? Kai Sanat. He shows off. These are called. These are called the low poly Air Max ones. Uh, honest opinion. This is stuff I'll be talking about. Like Nike is unnecessary stuff we don't need. Like, it don't make the shoe better if you're going to bring back an old model. This is pretty much the Air Max 1 you can get for a decent price. Love them, classic. Ooh, we already know. And they made it in, like, to a pixelated version. Uh, they cool. It ain't really that pixelated, but you can see they made the swoosh, like, squarish, whatever the case may be. Uh, they clean, though. You know, I ain't going to say nothing bad about them. I, it's really nothing bad about it. It just looked like an Air Max 1. They didn't change too much, but I do see the difference. You know what I mean? Like, it's not that much to talk about. Even Studio is back. Uh, they're making the Black Hulk feet shoes. <laughs> 
stuff like this i've never really seen people in person wear them before uh i will fake wear these i'm not gonna lie I, I got some Crocs with the chicken feet on them, the staple Crocs. Every time I wear them, people will stare me up and down. Or I literally heard little kids say, Mommy, he yeah, has chicken feet. The whole time it's a pigeon foot. But that's beside the point. I like to kind of wear crazy stuff like this. I'm not going to lie. I don't know the cost of these, but I will fake wear these. Not going to lie. They probably like 100 something, but let me know what y'all think about these i'm 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 weird like that i would definitely wear these god y'all somebody gave me how to pronounce his name in the comments last time i was watch, i was reading it and i was like i'm still gonna butcher that shit i mean i i mean lilion he's done a bunch of collabs on new balance i know i butchered the shit out that name uh he has another collab using the new balance b t e e 740 I like these. I like the colorway. He's been killing it with New Balance. Uh, he's on a elite run, if I want to say. I just don't know how to pronounce his name. Like, uh, I'm gonna get it right though. I apologize if anybody offended by that. But yeah, he's been killing it. I like these a lot. I've been seeing. I posted these on my uh, IG and uh, TikTok. They was like, "Oh, they stole the Air Max." Oh, oh, we seen Air Max at? I don't see Air Max on these. Uh, I don't see it, but yeah, this is. I think it's a dope colorway. Like I said, he continues to kill it. On to the next. Ego. Every time I talk about these, I uh, I'm still shocked that this man even has a collab with Nike. Uh, Nike just revealed the whole Nego and Nego and Nike collab. He's his fire. He uses the Air Force Three. Uh, I'm not crazy about the clothes. I mean, they are fit. The jacket cool. I, I like the jacket. It's them Air Force Threes. I'm a fan of them. I'm not really crazy about like freaky fruity colors or whatever the case may be or the combination of that. But I love this Air Force Three. Maybe because I'm a Nego fan. I grew up in that big 2000s era when it was peak. I'm a fan of these. I'm a fan of Nego work. He killed the Air Force Three. Retails $180. That's not bad. Or it's not good either. Uh... I just overall like the shoe. It comes in two colorways. I'm, I like the one with the navy blue on it, but these cool too. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a shoe for these. Let me know how y'all feel about these. I talked about these on in another video, but they they're really growing on me. I'm a big hoop fan, basketball fan. I live in Chicago at that, and even outside of Chicago, the impact Derrick Rose got on others she just was a fan favorite i'm glad that i got to witness derrick rose in that short stint like went to the games several too many games to count it was it was a moment and i definitely his next journey man i, I hope he does well you feel me uh what i will say the same treatment anthony edwards is getting for adidas Derrick Rose was supposed to be that, man. How I feel about Derrick Rose's shoe line is just like... The first one was okay. Living in Chicago. Only Chicago. We were huge, like... Derrick Rose fans. Everybody. I ain't never seen somebody in Chicago that didn't fuck with Derrick Rose. People wore that first one. That's all I remember. I personally didn't have a pet, but I've definitely seen people wear that shoe. They was okay. Adidas, they just didn't do Derrick Rose justice with his whole line. Now, I'm hearing people in my comments when I posted this the other day. Oh, they performing shoes. Stop saying when the shoe is ugly, bro. Y'all can't keep blaming just performance. If a shoe is ugly, a shoe is ugly. Every fucking sports shoe that's ever come out is all about performance, bro. But you can also make it good, too. Derrick Rose line was ass. Simple as that. Now, if you want to say they good hoop shoes, this ain't ball as life. You can go make a video on your page hooping in them and shit. I don't hoop any no. This I don't even hoop anymore. This knee is fucking busted. <laughs> but uh, like he just had a he just Adidas didn't do his do his justice for his line. It's just like I feel like at that time, especially when he came out in 2010 and just beyond. Adidas was in a dark place for basketball shoes at that time. Because you got to remember, they, their focal point of their shoes was, was, or athletes, signature athletes was 
Derrick Rose, Dwight Howard, I think Tim Duncan. I want to say Kevin Garnett. Don't quote me on that. Like, I think T-Mac was still online. Gilbert was out the door without that gun shit. And, like, they didn't really have anybody, like, to showcase the brand as that. Like, if I feel like if Kanye would have got a hold of Derrick Rose early or something, like, oh, man, could you imagine? But... I don't know, Adidas just ain't do him justice, but, you know, I wish him the best post-career. Okay, I'm looking at my notes, the, the, this, next, this next one is it's official. We are getting the Wu-Tang Dunks. Uh, it should be very soon at that. I, I, I wasn't expecting this so early. Do I give a fuck? No. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, you can get some regular-ass dunks. <laughs> you can get some regular-ass dunks, uh, the price people asking for these. But... I know this is like a monumental shoe for Dunk and SB collectors. Not so much for me. I personally don't care. But, uh, yeah, it's official. Uh, do I look forward to it? No, but I know a lot of you guys will. I don't know if I should share this news with fucking everybody wants to hear. Uh, Nike Galaxy Phone Posit. It comes with the remove before flight tag. I didn't give a fuck if it did or it did not. Uh, I was going to take it off anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm just excited like everybody else for these. Uh, this is the holy grail of foam posits. Uh, it's going to be hell for these next year. I'm I'm low-key ready, though. <laughs> um, I might break the bank for these. Depending on what the resale be. Do y'all think the resale going to be the same as it was in 2012? When it was, people were trying to sell their cars and shit for them? I don't think so. I think resale might be like 500 because phone pause is not dead in a sense, but they don't have the same type of hype that they had back in the day. I think they I think they reach a maximum of $500. Y'all let me know because I'm going to pay that if I end up missing the raffles for these. I'm not going to even lie. The set date of October, what's this, 8th? October 8th for the Tekken phones. Um... I think I missed the uh, Kazuya ones. I really didn't. I don't wear graphic phones. I don't. But these not that bad though. These are the the Gen the Gen Tekken phones. Uh, I'm not a big Tekken guy. I grew up playing Tekken like a motherfucker. I know my Tekken characters. Just not crazy on fighting games like that. Uh, meet me in Smash though. You can catch me on my Twitch though. I do whoop ass in Smash though. Oh uh, yeah, they cool. Octoberish. Just keep on watching. You really want these for my Tekken fans. Okay, I don't know why a lot of people was tagging me in these. Uh, I get why they was tagging me in these, I'll say. But this is what I'm going to say. The Jalen Brown shoe that I've talked about in the past on this page. Uh, they're, we have a name for them. The 741 Performance. If you don't know, Jalen Brown has like a dispute or some shit going on with Nike where he didn't well he, i don't know it's about some money type shit and then you know he ain't playing the olympics you know they sponsor the olympics they, it, politics that i don't give two shits about but i know nothing about uh so he went in he went in he went in this is zoe people jesus christ but he went and uh he went and Made his own brand. Uh, how I feel about him. People was like, "Oh, you think about it? I see the I see the potential too. I definitely see the potential." Uh, that remind me of the Infinity Gauntlet and the Infinity Stones. <laughs> That's all I see when I see these. I don't think they bad though. I actually like these a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. What do I rate them? Seven ish in that seven range of a shoe for his first shoe. Him trying of a shoe and a brand we know nothing about. It gets a thumbs up for me. We have a mock-up of the Jordan 3 Valentine's Day. Um, this was the previous mock-up and somebody made an improvement. So this is probably likely what the, they said is an accurate mock-up of what the shoe is going to look like. Um, this is what I'll be talking about. I think I have a pair. Uh, we we didn't we didn't need that. I'm not going to lie to you. We, we didn't need these. Uh, if you don't, I guess if you really wanted them, just get these. Uh, these are the woman's. I forgot the name, the colorway of these. I don't know, pink threes. I got these at the outlet. I got these at the outlet for the low low. Uh, it was like 40% off that day. They were sitting in there. Retail was like 200. I was like, yeah, I'll pay like, I'll pay like 110 for these. And 
Yeah, how about these? I don't, like I, I buy I bad woman shoes. Yes, I'm one of them people that bad woman shoes. I be seeing I be seeing that one dude, two dudes in the comments. Y'all be buying women's Jordans and all. Shut the fuck up. Golly. Women get to wear all our motherfucking shoes, but we can't wear women's shoes because cause of the colorway or because it says woman's shoe. Most of they shit don't even look like fucking woman's shoes. And come on, I ain't got to explain this shit, bro. Y'all playing on rookie, bro. Woman got most of the heat. If I can fit it, I'm wearing that shit. Puma and Ghostbusters is doing a collab like you guys give a shit. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, give, I show Pumas all up. I got hella Pumas. But uh, the Ghostbuster collab. Ghostbuster as a franchise is like, I don't know. It seems so outdated to me. Because none of the movies be hitting no more. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's just like one of them classics that you they just want to keep alive. For. Puma's doing a collab. I know you guys like. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I actually like the green one though, the slime monster, whatever the fuck you want to call it in the movie. It was a slime monster. I ain't seen the movie in a while, but the green one's solid. But yeah, Ghostbusters collab. If you guys care about that thing, Ugh. prepare for hell to get these. Uh, me personally, don't give no fuck. We have another what the colorway they call these, the what the ducks, uh, Oregon collab. Can we say collab? I don't. I don't. Just uh, Oregon colorways. Uh, for Nike Dunks, I'm pretty sure all the Oregon shoes combined in one. Y'all know how this what this shit go. Uh, they okay. Too freaky for me. Uh, I don't wear Dunks. Y'all know this already. Uh, they say the only way to get these is like Flight Club and I think Goat is doing something. Yeah, it's going to be a pain in the ass for the people that actually want this. Expect to be paying five to six hundred, seven hundred dollars if you lose the raffles. Uh, I think retail is maybe like two hundred dollars, one eighty. Y'all know how this shit go. Uh, y'all bought, y'all bought a pair of dunks before, but yeah, uh, expect all hell to break loose for these. This came out of nowhere too. I ain't gonna lie to you. I will say this: the end of the year, yes, the whole year has been a little shitty for Nike. I will say that. But the end of this year, like the like October, November, December. I guarantee y'all, they finna cook. <laughs> they finna cook. They finna cook, 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 cook. So uh, get your pockets ready. Or if not, save up for 2025. And last news of the day, the New Balance 1000 Rain Cloud colorway. Uh, this is a pack. I think you can buy these individually though. These are solid. It's the 1000 they new model this year. I can't remember. Uh, I think it's they new model this year. These are solid. I like the ones in the middle. Very simple, very clean. Uh, I sound like one of them hoes that's finna say the more. But uh, yeah, these are simple. These are clean. It's like you can't go wrong with them. New Balance know how to keep it simple. No, New Balance know how to turn it up. This is kind of up the alley with the calm stuff. Uh, I can see people buying these. I don't expect these to sell out or anything like that. But these is cool i like them uh let me know how y'all feel about these in the comments at shoe news this week uh it's been very interesting uh i i'm i said is that beginning of october golly because look ae ones the pink ones come out and we getting um pearl kd4 i need it <laughs> i think they come out the same week <laughs> I gotta get both of them, man. I gotta get both of them. Uh, October finna cook though, low key. So yeah, be on watch about that. Um, yeah, if you want to keep up with me with on real time, if you if you want to keep up with me with real time, just just this is my IG. This is my TikTok. I talk to the people every day. You know what I mean? This is it right here. Until next time, people. <laughs>